Hi, I'm Karen. Today I want to talk about the Fat to Fit Radio podcast. Uh, the latest podcast is about menopause and weight loss. And I also want to talk about my new toy, my Polar heart rate monitor that came in the mail today. So let's begin. Fat to Fit, Getting There and Staying There. It's a podcast by Jeff Ainsley and Russ Turley originally, and now Russ Turley and Helena Bigman. And Brigman? Bigman? Sorry. Um, and I really enjoy their philosophy. Uh, I'm a big fan, and I bought the book. Uh, their philosophy has to do with eating more to weigh less, that under eating always leads to overeating, and that uh, you eat at your BMR rate. And if you, uh, that's your basal metabolic rate. And, you know, you, I'll, I'll leave a link to their website and then you can look into that if you like. Um, I bought the book and after I read it, I gave it to my son, Larry. And when I got it back and I had it sitting on my nightstand and I was thinking, oh, you know, if I was on that podcast, I would definitely lose weight. You know, Russ lost over 100 pounds over the course of three years of doing the podcast. And if you listen to it, um, you know, to the archive shows from the beginning, it's, it's wonderful to see his progress. It's, it's very inspiring. Um, I saw it and I thought if I was on there, I bet I could lose weight because I would have that layer of accountability and, uh, and help and support and uh <laughs> and then i i went on to the comments section to the fat to fit uh comments and i saw that they were looking for volunteers and it and uh, I, just like that i volunteered and i got chosen and uh the rest is history so anyway <laughs> The, the topic of the latest podcast, menopause and weight loss, um, I thought maybe it was aimed at me or, you know, listeners like me. Uh, and I'd like to just send a shout out to uh, some of the listeners that have been reaching out to me and a few of them, a few of the ladies, they, they have similar numbers to me and, and I'm going to be watching their progress uh, along with my own. Uh, let's see, we've got... Um, Mary and Jen from the Fat to Fit support site. Uh, shout out to Hill Runner, also Mary. Uh, Web BQT, need to be me, Pam. G Twins, who says she's my fan. I have a fan. And um, a special shout out to my unofficial co leader, On to Victory, Robert, who's a big Fat to Fit fan, and he's lost over 116 pounds. And he's a Spark community team member and a voted featured blogger. And he's a real inspiration and great support. Thank you. Um, the article, I'll put a, a link to it in the show notes. It, it's a very hopeful message that women over 50 can lose weight. And if it's possible for them, I know it's possible for me. Uh, in the study, uh, they found that avoiding certain things was helpful. It was changes in diet, decreasing desserts, restaurant eating, sugar sweetened beverages, fried foods, and meat and cheeses, and increasing fruits and vegetables. And, you know, I've really taken this to heart. Um, a lot of this I'm already doing. I don't drink sugar sweetened beverages, I don't eat fried foods. They don't sit well with me, they just sit in my stomach like lead. Um, Restaurant eating, uh, very rarely do I eat out at restaurants. Desserts, I gotta say, that might be a problem. I'm going to substitute uh, Greek yogurt for desserts. Um, also, my cardiologist said that I should avoid ice cream um, and butter. You know, I can have ice cream like very rarely, like maybe on my birthday. Uh, and when I went shopping, I didn't buy any meats, any cheeses, I bought more fish. Um, so anyway, I'll also put a link to the book in the show notes. I think it's really good. So it's great to listen to the podcast, but it's good to have something, 
uh, that's written, something that you can look at on paper. Um, so next, I want to tell you I've got mail. This is, well, hopefully this is my polar heart rate monitor. I hope it's not something else that I bought. Okay, I'm going to get out the scissors and open this. There it is. Polar heart rate monitor. Okay. And you can see it there in the box. Oh, I'm going to. I've been told that this is very easy to set up. You hardly need to read the directions at all. is, I don't know what this part is, and here's the strap, okay, we're going to undo the strap over here, okay, okay, let's see. Oh, I see. There's a couple of snaps right here. And this has snaps in the back, so I guess you just go pop, plop. And it looks like over here is the sensor on the back. I'm going to take my water bottle here. Throw the little water down the sensor. Moisten it a little bit. I think I need a little bit more water. Okay, we're going to slip this baby on. Can I tell you something about your old heart rate monitor? My old heart rate monitor? Yeah, your new, your new, um, uh, I don't know, your viewers, for lack of, your new followers. Can you tell them about your old heart rate monitor? Oh, okay. I'll tell them. Uh, my old heart rate monitor was a Timex. I had it for about a year, and it was really good. It was also a chest strap and watch situation. And I uh, got to the point where the sensors weren't quite working. I guess I could have gotten, you know, a new battery to see if that would work. I'm having trouble getting this on. There we go. Excuse me. And it was showing like, like my resting heart rate would normally be 60 and it was showing it at 30. You know, basically thought that I was practically dead. Um, so oh, this is very comfortable. The strap is very comfortable. Uh, putting on my watch. All right, we'll just press buttons at random till it's, it says, please enter basic settings. Oh, it looks like I do have to read the instructions. Oh, basic settings, okay. Watch date and time. Okay, 12 hour. No, I don't like 12 hour. AM, PM. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I don't well, think I can pause. No, okay, well, just add this part out. Phone going off. Hello. Hello. Are you trying to sell me something? They hung up. It's dead air. I have no idea. I'll, I'll cut this part out. 
Okay. Do, do, do. Do you see anything right over here where it says how to set it up? Is there a quick start? I don't know. Okay, AM or PM? All right, it's PM. What time is it? 7.30? As of recording this. Do I want 12 hour or 12? Or, or 24 hour? I guess 12 hour, right? Yeah. Okay. I typically use 24 hour, but that's just because I'm weird. Okay, it's 7. And 33. Okay. Let's just wait until it's 34 so that, like, it's more accurate. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that accurate. Uh, let's see. Date, April. Again, as of recording this. Twenty thirteen. Date set. Yeah. General settings. <clears throat> Imperial units. Yes. No, no metric. Metric. No. User information. Weight. Alright, keep going, keep going. Okay, keep going. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Weight set. Height. Five foot. Short. Height set. Uh, oh, they want my month of birth and they already know I was born in November. That is amazing. How do they know that? I don't know. Mm. November 6th, 19... 1960. Shh. I'm not supposed to tell? No, I'm telling them. Oh. <laughs> okay, 1960. Date of birth Date set. Date of birth set. Female, yes. Sex set. Settings okay? Don't Google that. I'm going to say no because I said something wrong. Uh, 12 hour PM. Okay. All right, so that's all right. Month, day, year is set. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Sorry, I'm just trying yes. to. Yes. I'm trying to fill in. <laughs> uh, oh, it says Monday, 415, 735. <gasps> it's doing my heart rate. Yay. Yay. My heart rate's 73, just like that, okay? <laughs> the whole thing was set up just while I was doing this podcast. Isn't that amazing? Uh, vlog, <laughs> not podcast. Thank you, vlog. <laughs> okay, so that's all for now. I'm going to say goodnight, and uh, you know what? Do we have a few minutes? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do a few jumping jacks and see how this is working. You ready? All right. Okay. I'll, I'll count. Okay. All right. I'm going to count. Okay. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. And my heart rate is 106, 107. Wow. Oh, uh, I love this. Is that just 106 it's a bit fast? No, not for me. I, I mean, I tend to have a fairly high heart rate, but that, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, look, it tells me my heart rate zone for training is between 109 and 143. So, and it says not in zone. It's gone down to 103. So let me do some more jumping jacks. Okay. The, uh, wait, 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 hold on. Do you want me to count from like one or from 20? Uh, which would you prefer? Uh, I guess 20. Okay, let's go. From one, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 50, 40, 40, 50. I think. And now I am in the zone. Yay! Oh, that's amazing. Let me let me see if I can get you to see this. Can you see that? Nope. Well, yeah, now I can see it, but it's a bit upside. <laughs> now it's upside down. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can get my arm the right way just so you can see it. Can you see that? Is it focusing? Hold on, let me see. Wow. I can't see. Oh, now it's sideways. Okay. <laughs> I, I have an idea. Just do this. Yeah. It's upside down, but you can see the general... <laughs> you can see General Hospital. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, yeah, you get you get the idea. There's there's like it'll tell you when you're in the zone and I guess it figures out your workout zone uh based on your age and I don't know what else. But anyway, I I got to say I love this. I love this. What do you think? Oh, oh, it just beeped. It's because I was sitting here, my heart rate's going down. It just beeped because I'm not in the zone. Oh, man. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, I'll put a link to the heart rate monitor, the model that I got. This is the Polar FT, FT4, is it? Which one did I buy? I want to say FT4. It doesn't say on here. Oh yeah, here it is. It is the Polar FT4. And I bought this for mobile PC. It was, how much did I pay for this baby? Oh, I think it was around 60 bucks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say bye. Bye. The book is saying bye too.